getting up before dawn to search for animals. I'm a wildlife photographer, and I'm looking for something I've never seen before. There he goes. These are the Western Ghats, a mountain range in southern India. My mission is to photograph one of the most endangered animals in all of India, a rare mountain goat called the Nilgiri Tar. I've got a week to find these goats and to photograph them in their habitat. It's taken several days just to get here. And now at last I am where I want to be. It takes a serious hike to get to the highest peaks. But then you're in another world. A friend of mine called this the most beautiful place in India. When I asked him why, he said, there are no people. And indeed, in a country with over a billion human beings, it is a really rare treat to wander through a landscape with nothing but grass. And the only thing you hear is the wind. I've hiked for hours, but today I only caught a glimpse of the goats. At night, the goats climb to rocky outcrops where they feel safer from predators like leopards or wild dogs. But in the morning, they come down to the lower slopes. And that's when I have the best chance to find them. I don't know how he's gonna react to me, but I'm just gonna approach him really slowly and see what he does. One morning, I finally caught up with a whole herd and my search was over. As a photographer, I can't force things to go any faster than the goats want them to go. So I slow down my pace to theirs. When you're surrounded by them, it is hard to believe these goats are an endangered species. But they are. Less than 2,000 Nilgiri tar remain in the wild. Literally stranded in place and time. Their closest relatives are in the Himalayas, hundreds of miles away. Once upon a time, they were connected, but over the last 10, 20,000 years, as the climate became warmer here, the goats moved higher up the mountains, and now they're isolated from their nearest kin. This part of the Western Ghats is their last stronghold, a national park that is supported by the tea planters who cultivate the slopes below. The land up here above the plantations is too cold and high for cultivation, and that has helped protect this habitat for the tar. The high country of the Western Ghats is a moody place. Mist swirls around the peaks and you look down on the rest of the world, just like the Nilgiri tar do every day. Now I understand why people in this part of India call them the cloud goats. 